Now let me kind of set this back to somewhat normal. Because what I'm going to do is... Uh, <laughs> whoops. There we go. I'm gonna, I want to record in a specific change. So that's pretty close. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit record. And I'm changing the filter right now. I'm doing it with just this first knob. And notice on the uh, sequencer view that the, the boxes are changing color, which means I'm adding information to them. Okay, so I went through all eight bar or all 17 bars of that. So as you can see, we just recorded in that information. And if I hit play, play back that performance I did of the filter on the knob. You can hear it happening. You can see the little box that's formed around the note showing that there's been automated information. That box basically means that you've added automation to that particular knob, fader, etc. Now really, any of those knobs and faders that we went over earlier can be automated, so your possibilities of what you can do to the sound are virtually limitless. But let's say I'm content with that. I still, you know, I mean, it, it sounds, it is what it is. We're just using this so we can uh, learn from it. But I'm going to move on to the, uh, the rest of the tracks. So let's look at the... The bass, for example. Now, this is something that needs some love, okay? So I'll just tell you what I'm doing here. First thing I'm going to do is change the wave and the octave. So what we have here is actually a blend of two different waves. So that's got a little bit more thump to it. I'm changing the filter a little bit. And actually, we can do this with all the different knobs on here. So this, this fader is the resonance, and this fader is the frequency. And it's really cool how this unit just adapts to whatever program you're using. Now, there are programs that this probably will not work for, but for the more popular programs, uh, this is compatible. Just check out the Mackie website. I'm, I'm sure they're constantly adding programs that this is compatible for. Um, so I think that sounds a little bit better. It's more fitting for the track. <laughs> 